Hey, this is the homework help video for Honors Math 3, Unit 9, Worksheet 5, Solving. So in order to solve, we want to isolate the trig function, so we want to get sine by itself. So I'm first going to add 4 to the other side, and then divide by 4. So I want to figure out where sine is equal to 1, so that's a quadrantal. And I know sine is the y value, so the only place where y is equal to 1 is up here. So that would be at pi over 2. And so once I do that, then I want to just solve for theta. So in order to solve for theta, I'm going to just multiply both sides by 2. So then theta would equal pi. So that one was pretty easy. <laughs> Let's take a look at another one. Okay, so number 10. So same kind of process. So in this case, I don't have like a single trig function to isolate, so that means I need to be able to use zero product property, which means I need to be able to factor. So I look to see what can I factor out of everything, and I have a five common, and then I also have a cosine three theta. So I'm going to factor out the five cosine three theta so when I factor out of here, I'm left with tangent of 2 theta, and out of here I'm left with 1. Then just distribute that real quick and make sure you get the same thing. So when I multiply these two together, I would get that. When I multiply those two together, I would get that. So then I use zero product property, so I'm going to set that factor equal to zero. And then this factor equal to zero. So I'll divide both sides by 5. And so I want to know where cosine is equal to zero, and it is in x value. And so where the x values are zero are on the quadrantals here and here. Okay, over zero up one, over zero down one. So then that would be at pi over two, and then again at three pi over two. Okay, so. Uh, I didn't give myself enough room, so I'm going to actually um, finish that right down here instead. Okay, so I'm just jumping to here. So then I know that I have to rotate through the unit circle three times, right, or through the circle three times. So this is my first rotation, so I need to add a second rotation and then a third rotation. So to do that, I would need to add 2 pi to everything. So, but I want it to be in terms of 2, because I want a common denominator, so I'm going to multiply by 2. So really what I'm doing is I'm adding 4 pi over 2 to everything here. So I'm going to do 1 pi plus 4 pi, still over 2. And then 3 pi plus 4 pi, still over 2. And then I have to do it a third time, because I'm going through a third rotation. So then I'm going to add 4 pi to 5 pi and then 4 pi to 7 pi. Okay, so now all I've done is solve for 3 theta, going through the circle 3 times. And then I actually need to solve for theta though. So I'm going to multiply everything by 1 third. So all that's going to do is multiply the tops by 1, the bottoms by 3. So all of my denominators are going to turn into 6. And then you can reduce a couple of these, right? So you should go back and reduce both of those, but I will let you do that. So there's part of my answer, right? Not all of them, just part of them. Okay, so whoop, back up to here. Okay, so because I still have to solve for this one. <laughs> so equal to zero. And so I'm going to subtract one first. And so I know tangent is negative in the, where the slope is negative, diagonal slope is negative, so that would be here and here, so quadrant two and four. And my reference angle is 45 degrees or pi over four. And so then this would be, so two theta, 
So I'll put a 4 pi over 4 here. So that would be at 3 pi over 4. And here would be 8 pi over 4, so 7 pi over 4. But then again, I have to look at my rotation. So I have an angle of 2 theta, so that means I need to go through the unit circle twice. I've only been through it one time. So I need a second rotation. So it's co-terminal angle, right? That's what we're finding. So I'm going to add 2 pi to both of those, but I want a common denominator. So if I'm going to add 2 pi, I want a denominator of 4. So I'm really adding 8 pi over 4 to everything. So I'm going to add 8 pi over 4 to this, so 3 pi plus 8 pi. Same denominator. And 7 pi plus 8 pi with same denominator. So that is my rotating through twice, but now I need to solve for theta itself. So I'm going to multiply everything through by 1 half. So all the numerators will be multiplied by 1, and all the denominators by 2. So this will be 3 pi over 8, 7 pi over 8, 11 pi over 8, and 15 pi over 8. And that would be it, my friends. So we have those four and these six. And those, all of those would be my answers to number 10. And that's it for this one.